Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, I'm playing the tier 10 French destroyer Kleber. Uh, this is a destroyer that I have struggled with a little bit, honestly, and I'm I'm not sure if it is entirely me or if it is uh, me and also the current meta. I didn't play it much at all after picking it up. I guess. But um, I do seem to feel that it is more difficult to play now than ever before. My personal feeling is that it is in large part due to the introduction of submarines. It's not necessarily the submarines that are the issue. It is the, at least in my opinion, the reticence of battleship players to get anywhere near the actual battle. And that is driven, I believe, largely by battleship players not wanting to get sunk by submarines. Now, I know that there are some significant, and I think, uh, very important and uh, positive changes to submarines and their implementation coming up in the next update of 10.10. .10. But as it stands right now, uh, I think subs are just kind of ridiculous. If someone really knows what they're doing, they can stay pretty much invulnerable to damage by you know, diving deep and staying out of sight. And uh, so the spotting mechanics are an issue. The The way that the torpedoes are implemented right now with the double ping, meaning you know, bypasses torpedo belt reduction, damage reduction, and does uh, citadels, and uh, so so they're making changes to address these things. And you know, there are some other issues. I won't go into this in any more detail, but uh, it's made especially playing any destroyer, and I imagine it's probably true uh, almost as much something like Elbing. You can't you can't get close. You're relying on your team and that's it's really tough to rely on your team because uh, you know the subs are keeping the big ships farther back. Now in this game, you see we've got one battleship and a whole lot of cruisers. So cruisers don't have to be as terrified to move up, which changes the game dynamic considerably. So I have a lot more close support. I mean, you can see on the, the G line, Salem, Minotaur, Napoli, Hindenburg. And it made, made for a much more exciting game. So, you, uh, so that opened the door for me to push in, which I've done. And I'm hesitant to push the reload booster until I can get all the guns to bear. Now I'm you know, nose into the island, but you know it's, it's rarely a good thing. But in this case, I knew that there were a bunch of ships just north, so I'm trying to get. I was just trying to use the island for cover, but now I'm taking fire from something across the map, the Minotaur. I'm just maneuvering, trying to avoid those shots while I try to get away from this island. Now I've got to get out of this hydro. And I'm also radar. <laughs> uh, okay, so now it's just the hydro. Now I'm out of the hydro range. I took a lot of damage there. But you can see there's a Des Moines that's really close, and I've got. Napoli, well, Napoli pushing in. I do a little chip damage on the Des Moines. I managed to start a fire. So, yes, I took a lot of damage there. And in part, I pushed in because of my frustration. I This wasn't the first game I'd played that day. And... It's a very frustrating experience trying to play the Clubair right now. 
so I just was determined, okay, you know what, I'm going to push it, I'm going to see what happens. Because I had been playing in what I consider the way that you probably should play this, this ship. You know, you stay back, you support your DDs. But anyway, I thought there might be more opportunity in this game, so I did my best to take advantage of that. Now, there's a Minotaur, and I'm broadside to a Minotaur right now. I'm going to try and get some torps on the Minotaur with, you know, the full understanding that it's probably not going to happen. And I'm using the speed to try to get away from getting blapped. Minotaur and Daring, both with Hydro. Switch to AP, see if I can get an AP shot, but he's turning the angle. And his torpedoes might be coming, so I've got to be careful of that. But it looks like Napoli is going to just push right in. And there's another radar. So, which was it before? It had to have been Des Moines, right? So this is probably Petro, so he doesn't have long for this radar. And at this point in the game, I'm thinking, okay, I've got Salem pushing over here, I've got Napoli right here. I might be able to make something happen with torpedoes just by utilizing the speed of this ship. Our small one goes down to torpedoes from the Fumikaze. Our Mino takes out from the enemy gearing. The radar goes down and I'm sensing an opportunity with torpedoes. Now, having said everything I've said, I think Kleber is fun to play. Uh, it, it's super fast. The reload booster and the speed booster can create some fun situations. Uh, not always of the type that you're about to see, but uh, it's just it's got a lot of Daka Daka potential. The guns hit fairly hard for uh, you know for a destroyer. You got eight of them. The reload zone base of reload is seven seconds. Is that right? 2,000 maximum HE shell damage per, and 2,700 on the AP, which you don't get to use that often because you really don't want to get close unless you're going to do something like what I'm going to do here. Back up. I use that guy as an emergency break. So I know I've got Petro and Des Moines there, and I know that I'm Hydro. I'm going to use the speed boost. I couldn't sit there. You can see I'm taking fire from the port side. Now I'm proxy spotted. What's Des Moines going to do? I mean, he's going to get out a volley or two. I'm just going to angle right at him. Uh, one thing about this ship, it does not handle very well. So, uh, because of the speed, primarily, I was able to charge two radar cruisers, uh, survive it, and sink both of them. Just trying to keep an eye on the Mino. I wanted to make sure he wasn't coming right at me. I also know there's a daring on my port side now. So, uh, Club Air, if you haven't played this line, I think they're very fun. Um, I enjoy the play style, but it is reliant on your team, in my opinion, to play these ships kind of the way that they're designed to be played. They're not designed to get, at least in my opinion, designed to get close. Now, why, why isn't anything happening here? Well, my wife's been ill. And um, she's, she was calling me and asking me. So I, I literally jumped up, ran across the house, 
and um, helped her with something, and then ran back. But because Clavier does not handle well, <laughs> I couldn't make this turn. I was trying to get around this island to keep going so I could angle against the daring, but I just didn't work out. So I'll just do a damage I can, which isn't much, but... And that was it for my contribution to this game, so... Um... <laughs> that was it for, uh, you know, for what I could do. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the... Uh, I told you about the damage for the AG Shells 2000 Max, but... Uh... You know, they also have a 10% fire chance, so you can definitely start a lot of fires with this thing uh, if you're able to s stay back and, you know, plink and plug from range. The torpedoes, you got, you got four torpedo racks with three torpedoes per rack. You saw that they reload fairly quickly. They get a base reload of 77 seconds, and they do 18,400 damage. That's, uh, that's pretty significant. And they run at 75 knots, so... While the situations uh, like the one that uh, you just saw are going to be uncommon when they do happen, you can blap some things with these torpedoes. Max base speed on this thing, 44 knots. Use a speed flag. You can bump that up a little higher. Turning circle radius, as you saw, not too hot. 740 meters. Base detectability, <laughs> 9.88 kilometers. Now, you can... Oh, you can use a module and you can use your commander to bring that down. It's debatable how much that's worth. Uh, currently, it might be worth a little bit more because you've got so many big ships that want to stay back away from the fight. Out of uh, concern for torpedoes from submarines, but you know, your mileage may vary. Um, the, uh, in the, the World of Warships wiki... It says the pros are, you know, the speed of the ship, the main guns, the reload booster, good gun angles, which it does. Uh, pretty strong AP. Torpedoes are really fast with good damage, and the AA damage is, uh, continuous AA damage is decent, but it doesn't have any flak. AA doesn't really do much of anything anyway. This thing's almost over, I know. But I want to tell you what the wiki says about the cons. No smoke. Uh, main battery reload. Without the booster is not too good. Uh, turret traverse is not good. Torpedoes have only 8 kilometers of range. Turning circle is poor. They say somewhat, but it's poor. Poor surface detection, very poor AA range, and uh, no flak. So it can be fun if you can play it like a cruiser, I guess, really is what it boils down to. Um, in this case, I was able to get in close and play it a little bit more like a DD, and it was still fun, but that's uncommon. So anyhow, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this and learning a little bit about the, this ship. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if, you, if you did enjoy it, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.